All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. I'm really excited for this video because I feel like I've learned something new this year and it's about the Braba crop of figs. Now, if you're not familiar with what the Braba crop is, the Brabas are the first crop of figs that forms on last year's growth. And they form as the tree actually is waking up. You may have seen it as your tree wakes up, it actually forms new growth, new leaves, new branches, but also the figs start to swell in size. And that is the Braba crop. They ripen because they form so early in the season, they ripen about 30 days on average earlier than the main crop. And the main crop forms on the new growth. So as the new growth grows, every leaf typically will correspond to a new fruit, given the appropriate amount of sunlight. So those figs unfortunately form a bit later and that's why they ripen 30 days after the Braba crop. And so that means it's a really important crop for people who, of course, just want earlier figs. I mean, wouldn't you guys want earlier figs? No matter really where you live, I think it's a really important crop to consider, even for people like in Southern California, West Texas, Arizona, these really warm, uh, dry places. This is, I think, a huge bonus, at least for me, that I really respect. And if I was living in those places, I would definitely have myself at least one really reliable Brava producer. But that's the other thing, by the way. Not every variety produces these Brabas in such a high quantity or produces them at all. In fact, there's two different classifications of figs. There's unifera varieties and there's bifera varieties, meaning one or two, one or two crops. So the unifera variety I like to use as an example. Here is actually Ron de Bordeaux. And this is so classically, I think, a unifera variety that uh, it will actually form Brabas. I saw a couple on the trees a little bit ago. Actually, here's one that's perfect. We get a, a nice little shot of for you guys. You focus the camera. There it is, actually. Can you spot it? It is right there, and it just fell off because the trees will form Brabas, even though it's not supposed to, they won't ripen but it forms them prematurely and then the tree doesn't put really energy and any energy towards them and they end up falling off the tree. And that's something else I wanna consider in this video is that Brabas require energy. So even though you have a tree, let's say, like this one here, this is Moro de Caneva, I would argue one of the best Braba producers I've come across. Not every Braba that has formed on this Moro de Caneva tree is actually ripening or will ripen. A lot of them are falling off because there's just so many of them. I think we've had such a mild winter this year. Uh, look at that cluster of them up there on some of these other branches. They're really getting to that larger size that I would start you know, counting my chickens on a little bit. And so the tree unfortunately just cannot handle all of those Brabus. You know, there was probably at one point on this tree, it's maybe in its fourth or fifth season in the ground, really doing well with the cold winters we have here. And, you know, it, it just probably had about 50, maybe even more Braba on it. And the tree just cannot handle that. Each Braba requires that energy and actually slows down that energy requirement, slows down the development of these new leaves, these new branches, and the trees grow slower because of that. Once they grow slower, well, then you have less leaves on the tree. If you have less leaves, then the trees actually produce typically less main crop. Each leaf should correspond to a new fruit. So there's a trade-off, unfortunately, that happens. I've talked a lot of it about that trade-off in prior videos. Here's some more Brabas that are just kind of falling off the tree, the tree can't handle it. But what's been amazing in the past, as I've said, and I've really underrated this Braba crop, is that I find that the Brabas are just unreliable here. Zone 7A, Philadelphia area, I would argue for people in these colder places, zone six, five and four, it can be really tough with these Brabas. 7A and down, I think is really where you struggle. Because the, the winter can either kill the branches back, if you lose those branches, you prune them away, the top third of the branches, or the winter kills it, well, no Brava crop. But also, I think we have kind of a really oddly fluctuating in temperature spring. It's just not very mild or not really consistent in temperature. Other zone 7As may have a lot easier time 
actually ripening their brava crops because the temperatures don't necessarily get so cold all of a sudden. You know, it might be 50 at night, all of a sudden the next night you almost have a frost and the trees really don't like that. So I find the, the brabas in the past it just really were unreliable. But now that these trees I think are really starting to, you know, do well in the ground, get more established, get larger, they have more energy stored within them as the trees wake up in the spring, I'm finding these trees can really handle a lot more brevas and I'm seeing a lot less dropping. So I'm almost in the, on the fence, we'll see what happens this year, but I'm really seeing it across the board on all the trees I have in the ground. It's such a stark comparison as they get older and even comparing them to potted fig trees. Just the trees in the pots, unless you really get them established in a bigger pot, you feed them well, they get really older and larger and have a lot of that energy stored within. Like I said, you're not really gonna get, I think, that consistent Brava crop that you'll see here with the in-ground figs. Uh, and that's, to me, it's changing my view entirely on this entire topic. I wonder if part of what I'm seeing in such success this year is due to the cold damage. If you see down here, I'm trying to get the camera to focus, we have a, a couple brabas. See how they're turning black like this? They're shriveling, turning color. That means they're coming off. The tree's rejecting it. But what's odd about this one right here is half of it is green and half of it is, um, you know, that browner color that's discolored. And so as a result, uh, you know, it makes you wonder, is it maybe that part of the braba bud that was on the tree just took some damage? Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button, hit that like button for me. We'll catch you guys for the next video. Take care.